Sue Swain, can you tell us what biomimicry is and can you tell us how the humpback whale helped us make better wind turbines? Sure, thanks Martin for the question. Um, basically biomimicry is the practice of learning from and emulating nature's genius. Um, essentially learning from plants, animals and microbes how to do things better. Um, they've been getting it right for some 3.8 billion years, so that's a lot of R&D behind them. And um, a classic example is that of the humpback whale. And um, it was funny enough, a Dr. Fish, who was um, doing some whale watching. It would have to be. It would have to be, yeah. <laughs> Dr. Fish was, was doing some whale watching. And he noticed that the leading edge of the humpback whale had these tubicles on it. So it was anything but a smooth edge. And, um, and humpback whales function in the way that they, they move in ever tightening circles to actually shepherd the krill. And these huge bodies being able to do that, um, clearly that leading edge must have had something to do with it. And um, so basically his company looked into that called Whale Power, looked into that, discovered that it reduces drag by 32% and created a new wind turbine blade um, that does exactly that. So it doesn't have a smooth edge like we traditionally have things. It's got the tubicles on the leading edge also um, reduces drag by 32 percent so making it much more efficient these wind turbine blades can also be used in low wind conditions um, which is a, a big plus as well so in areas where you don't get that much wind because they're so efficient it actually is economically viable to have them operating there that's absolutely magnificent it's so interesting i've got two questions though for you yes. the first is do these wind turbine blades sing like the whales do <laughs> But more importantly, if we want to know more about biomimicry, what is your website address, please? Um, it's www.biowise.org.za. Thank you very much, Sue. Thanks a lot.